We've got uh, acolytes, altar boys out here with lit candles, standing, waiting with the police. So, Shelby, how many people was that? You counted them, right? I told you to, I told you to count all the people that we were following in the procession. One million forty-three thousand. Wow, that's a okay. That's a good number. Filipinos take Holy Week to a whole new level, and. Uh, I'm so glad that I got a chance to see this and be here this year. This is this is a, a lifelong dream come true. Hey everybody, this is Brent again, and uh, today is Good Friday. It's Friday, April 7th, and I'm here in front of the I Heart Bye Bye sign in front of the Immaculate Conception Church. And uh, being Good Friday, we were told that Mass was at 3 o'clock, and, uh, and we were bound and determined to be there. So we came over here about uh, 2.45, and mass was already well underway and every seat in the place was packed it was filled to capacity so we are standing out or we're sitting outside we got shelby with me today she's over here but she's being shy and doesn't want to be on camera so uh we're waiting instead of just going home and uh saying oh well we missed it uh, we are waiting here because today, uh, after the Mass, there is a procession. So the statue of uh, Jesus will be uh, lifted up in the church and it will be taken out on parade. Now, this is my first Holy Week in the Philippines and it's very important, very special to me uh, to be here and to get to experience all of this. So I don't want to miss it and it's one of the highlights of the year. Uh, Holy Week in the Philippines is a big, big deal. And uh, I don't want to miss it. I don't think you should miss it. And uh, it's definitely something to experience. And uh, I can't wait. I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to wait for this procession to start. And I'm going to try and film it and see what, uh, see what it's all about. So uh, stay, stick with me and uh, we'll see if this will get started anytime soon. Hopefully it'll be before it gets uh, too dark. Okay, uh, from the very little Visayan that I can understand and also from the cadence and the number of different voices that I hear coming from inside of the church, it's uh, pretty clear right now that uh, they are doing a reenactment of the Passion of the Christ. And I'm not sure how far into it or far along they are, but uh, we're trying to get a better spot uh, closer to the door so that uh, when the procession starts, we'll be ready for it and then uh, we won't miss it or get uh, crowded out because we understand that uh, it gets pretty crowded and pretty crazy down here during this time of year during these events but uh, you just see this is just beautiful people are getting ready they're selling candles along the side and uh, the church just looks great they've been doing a lot of work cleaning it and you can see um, up close that uh, it is very similar to the construction of the uh, uh, cathedral that we were looking at yesterday in Maasin. So you see the same kind of lock and it's all the, the coral stone the blocks carved out of the ocean and uh, just really breathtaking in that timber I don't know if you can see it but there is a uh, post and beam construction up there that is just awesome 
but uh, you kind of gotta kind of be kind of be a, a construction nerd to uh, appreciate that kind of that kind of thing. Let's see if we can take a peek inside. They're getting on with the mass. And as you can see, it is absolutely standing room only right out the front door and uh, they're expecting such a crowd that there's a medic station the fire department is here the uh, philippine national police are here there are security guards regular city police uh, they're ready for anything and look at this the side yard over here again hundreds of chairs there's the float. sunburn but the sun is going down and it sounds like things are wrapping up inside of the church we should be getting ready for the procession any minute now Hey, the float for Mary Magdalena. This one looks like a funeral float here. Yeah. 
Okay, I think this is starting. Um, we've got uh, acolytes, altar boys out here with lit candles, standing, waiting with the police. They're folding up a purple robe, and they've got the police ropes up. Bearers have got him up in the hearse. This is pretty wild. There are a million people here. Hey, what's happening, man? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey, Shelly. Wouldn't miss this. Yik, yik, no. Not coming? I think she's probably inside. Uh, if I would, if I'm, if I know Yik, yik, she's gonna be up in the front and leading the parade. <laughs> <laughs> we go that side. Okay. See ya.
So, Shelby, how many people was that? You counted them, right? I told you to. I told you to count all the people that we were following in the procession. One million forty-three thousand. Wow, that's a okay. That's a good number. Wow, people are still showing up, still pouring out of the church. Unbelievable. Well, that was definitely worth the wait. Um, something I've been waiting 52 years to see. Um, I always knew that Holy Week was a big deal here and that uh, the traditions here are uh, uh, steep. Uh, they're, they're very closely held on to and uh, that uh, this place is definitely steeped in tradition and Catholic tradition. So uh, the Filipinos take Holy Week to a whole new level and uh, I'm so glad that I got a chance to see this and be here this year. This is this is a, a lifelong dream come true. So let's see. Uh, maybe I'll catch them on the way back. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how how far they're going to be walking, but they could be at this for a while. Okay, everybody. As you can see, it is very dark, and the procession is nowhere to be found. They are way out there, and it's raining uh, so I have one more thing to show you since I'm here at the plaza and uh, Shelby and I have done uh, you know gotten different snacks over here tonight we tried something a little bit different so for all of my Florida friends and Georgia friends uh, who are worried if you come to the Philippines maybe you're not going to be able to get your boiled peanuts check this out These were delicious. I really enjoyed them. Wow, that's so hot. Look at that steam coming through there. Are these local? Uh, where did they grow? Where did they grow? Here in Bye Bye? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Excellent. Thank you. They were very good. So, for all my friends in Florida and Georgia, if you're worried about your boiled peanuts, we got you covered right here.